Okay. Now, more importantly, something that's not really lore-related, but player power progression-related. The Onyx Annulet. If you haven't heard about this yet, they wear shoes. They wear soft shoes, yeah. Yeah, maybe some uh, some some rubber uh, rubberized hooves. That'd be working. They put carpet on the bottom of their hooves, yeah. There you go. So, uh, the Primordial Stones, now available for testing in 10.0.7. If you don't know what the Onyx Annulet is, it is kind of like a... It's a player power progression system, but it's not really like the ones that passed, right? So everyone might freak out when they hear that, like, oh shit, here comes the anima. Here comes the AP grind, it's here again. No, this isn't really that. So this is the Onyx Annulet. <clears throat> this is um, a ring that you will find on the first floor of the Ziscara Vaults. An explorable mini dungeon activity within the Forbidden Reach. I believe this is a single player dungeon that we'll be doing where we'll be getting this Onyx Annulet. It's a ring with three unlock unknown uh, three socket slots. But these socket slots aren't going to be filled by your auction house gems. No, 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 no. These are going to be filled by primordial stone gems. And you'll be getting these primordial stone gems throughout your journeys in the Forbidden Reach. Remember, that's the starting zone for the drag theory that we'll be going to in 10.0.7. Did someone say Torghast 2? No, no. Oh, no. No, please, no. So, um, the thing is, you'll be doing that mini dungeon uh, to get stuff. So, players will use the Zaskara, Zaskara Vault Keys to obtain various activities throughout the Reach to open doors within the Vault, revealing chests, monsters, and puzzles hidden within. As of right now, the vaults are the only source of both primordial stones and the singular ring in which you, uh, they can be used in. Alongside with other rewards such as pets, achievements, and toys, the ring also doesn't have any primary or secondary stats aside from stamina and the three sockets. Is this borrowed power? Are we re-entering the age of borrowed power? While many players have compared the new gems to the shards of... Oh no. Please, no. The Shards of Domination were the absolute worst. The worst. One of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Hopefully not. Primordial Stones appear to be much more straightforward. More akin to Mechagon Punch Card Trinkets. Okay, that's fine. Those weren't bad. Primordial Stones only slot into one specific ring... Found at a predetermined location, item level, primordial stones cannot be upgraded. Some primordial stones interact with others, but they do have they do not have specific bonuses. Primordial stones drop our RNG, but appear to be very quick to acquire only a few runs through the vault, awarding several. Primordial stones cannot be removed once socketed, but can be replaced with new ones, just like gems. You know, you gotta break them to replace them. Um, it's also important important to note that this is not a major feature of a new tier. Given the stones are being added to our as a back end of the Vault of the Incarnates and drop from world activities, it seems unlikely that we'll intend to carry them forward into patch 10.1. Interesting. Interesting. So a little bit more about these stones. Blizzard clarified some stuff on them. So I'd like to set some light on the stones. Um... By questing in 10.0.7, you'll unlock the vaults, that's fine, and get the ring. Yeah, solo instance dungeon, with some fun puzzles to solve. You venture through and acquire the Onyx Annulet Ring, and a bunch of primordial stones that can be socketed into it. So how do you get the stones again? You can get them in the vault itself, and can be accessed with keys that you'll receive. The keys will bind on account, so you can, you know, again, alt-friendliness can be used on your alts, you can crush primordial stones into fragments, which can be repurposed into an item to upgrade your favorite stones through your local jewel crafter. Hey, I'm a jewel crafter. Maybe I should actually level that shit up. I don't know. We'll see. So the primordial stones can be turned into fragments and repurposed into items to upgrade your favorite stones. Interesting. So that kind of eliminates some of the RNG there. You can, you can use these fragments to purchase newer stones from research... Researcher MRF. While you can't buy specific stones, they come in families, so you'll be able to target the stones you want. Primordial stones can be unsocketed from amulet. Amulet. Okay. In 
yeah, their intent is to minimize randomness uh, so that you can customize. Yeah, so there's going to be, you know, there's going to be obviously an all uh, an a perfect stone arrangement for every class and spec. So everyone's going to be chasing down their certain ones that they want, you know, to get their best in slot stones. And uh, all of these features should kind of eliminate the RNG that comes with the stones. Being able to break them, use fragments to get the ones you need, all that shit. So this is an interesting thing. We're going to see how this thing plays out. Uh, the Onyx Annulet itself, I mean, a lot of PTSD from Shards of Domination. So um, hopefully it doesn't become that, but we'll see. Right, right now this shows it as a 405 item level. So I don't know how long this thing will last or whether it's going to be item level upgraded. Uh, they're saying it, it's, they're not expecting it to go past 10.0.7, but I think that's yet to be determined. So we'll see. We'll see. This reminds me of Diablo. Oh, interesting. I haven't played uh, Diablo in so long, so I didn't even know anything like that existed. Yeah, I hope it's not a Torghast 2, though. That's for sure.